Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. In every miles of journey, it begins with a single step. And I am a believer in that saying. Because at the time that we desired for this boathouse, we began with a single step. It's just one post. And during that time, I am not actually very clear about what's going to happen. But it's evident now that we have this boathouse and this is an achievement because of the faith, because of the perseverance, because I believe in myself and of course I have faith in God. We were able to do this and you look at this now. The boat is actually 90% completion. We already have put bamboos at the sidings and we painted this varnish. Well, I asked suggestions from you about the varnish and you said that the mahogany color is far more better than the natural color. This mahogany color is doing good actually. And this is brighter than the natural. And I'm so happy with this result. This is just the first coating, but I believe that this will become more enhanced when we're gonna do the second and the third coating. And it brings out the natural beauty of the bamboo. I think so, because these bamboos are actually faded, but when they are painted with this mahogany color, it brightens up. And we have this natural design already out of this bamboo. And maybe you're interested about the expenses. Well, if you're gonna use the bamboo, you will only spend less, but without compromising the quality of you know, the materials because bamboos are good materials, especially if your design is having touch with you know, nature. So we are expecting to finish this one, this side, over there and the other side for this week. And the painting of the varnish will start a little later today. So that's going to be our task today. And at the back portion of this will be our kitchen. So come on, let's go and I will give you some idea what's going to happen here. So this is the back portion of the boat, LC, and the shape is half moon, just like that. And this is intended for the kitchen. And for the kitchen, we desire to make this as sturdy as possible because we are cooking our food here. We brew our coffee here and we also do the preparation of the food. So we will make this bigger. I mean maybe five meters from here. We're gonna extend five meters from here intended for the kitchen. And the roofings of course will be designed so that this will look really like a real boat. So this is it. This is actually an ambitious desire, but slowly but surely we're gonna do this. Little by little, we're gonna be able to accomplish this. Just allow me to give you an update about the catfish that we have placed in here. All in all, we have placed 500 new additional catfish here and they turned monsters. I was surprised to see some of them already very, very big that I suspect that each of these catfish will weigh more than two kilos. In fact, they can eat a small duck. That's why the small ducks that had been hatched were not allowed to stay here because I see it myself, they can really swallow a small duck. And our ducklings are placed in, in, in a secured coop so that they cannot come over. Um, they are really predators. In fact, 
other fish like the snakeheads are killed by this, you know, this uh, catfish. But the ducks as big as this are already safe. Some of you made mention about when the catfish becomes big, they will eat the ducks. Well, maybe in the future, if they will really become that big, but I believe that since they already have good bonding, they have known each other, they're already friends actually. And the ducks have really adjusted also eating the fish food together with the catfish and vice versa. The catfish also have adjusted a lot in eating the food together with the ducks. I'm so confident that the birds will come back here because this used to be the sanctuary of um, migratory birds and I'm, I'm seeing some of them that are returning back and I'm so happy about this because I would like to make this place a bird sanctuary that they can just naturally stay here and enjoy the place of course and I, I also envision to be able to you know, me make a sanctuary of birds out of this boathouse. And I'm also desiring about um, entertaining our customers with these migratory birds that are coming over. Of course, we have the ducks and also we have this catfish. But I really wanted to have an aviary here. We already have hand fed some of our African lovebirds and they're gonna be released here naturally as well and people can just feed them. I don't know if this is gonna happen, but my desire is just to allow this hand-fed uh, African lovebirds to fly. I mean, free fly, that they can live normally here. And maybe we can put some nest boxes and then other birds also can join with them. This is my, my plan, this is my dream. I don't know if this is gonna be materialized, but with the natural things that are occurring now, it seems that we can ac accomplish or achieve this. By the way, I'm waiting for my visitors. I've set the table and uh, I hope that they will come over and I would like really to share with them my, my joy and victories in you know, making this boathouse. It has a lot of challenges. The flood, our fish had been washed out. The, the koi fish had been washed out because of this flood. But we persevere and now we are bouncing back and regaining our desire to really make this boathouse. With our desire to offer our, our customers with this native chicken, we also do a parallel, you know, farming production of this chicken and then made a little adjustment. Some of the chickens really prefer to lay their eggs here. So actually this mama is incubating more than 10 eggs and, and I'm expecting to harvest some chicks in 21 days from now or maybe lesser than that. So these things are slowly happening. These things are only in my mind in yesteryears but now it's slowly happening so thank you guys for your support thank you for your encouragement your comments in the comment section really have inspired me to do a lot more so thank you and i would like to bring this back to you and report to you all the achievements that we had and i hope that you will be come also happy with me and I would like to see you in my next video. And if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit the notification bell because we are uploading regularly videos that are so informative and very challenging. So thank you guys. See you in my next video only here at Dexter's World.